Right now, we need to turn uh, our attention to multiplication. Multiplication in the set we call R, which is a set of Dedekind cuts. So we're defining uh, an operation which will correspond to multiplication. And the thing here is that we will actually proceed by considering that it can cut the, that are positive in the sense that remember we had some um, we have defined already an, on ordering so we can make sense of, of a that it can cut being positive so the, um, or non-negative if a is greater than or equal to the that can cut o or zero and and that just means it contains the all the negative rational numbers it's a cut that contains all these uh, well, these negative rational numbers okay, so it and then i mean if both of these cuts are greater than or equal to zero then we can define the product by just taking the products of elements in in of, of, of positive rationals inside these two sets and or in adding I mean and taking the union with all the negative rational numbers so we first define the product of two That it can cut A and B such that A is greater than zero and B is greater than or equal to zero. So they're both greater than or equal to zero. Uh, And so the natural definition here uh, corresponds to well, a b. We want to take products of elements in the, these cuts. So a would just correspond to the numbers that can be written as a product of one element in a and an element in b. Um, A and B non negative. Union, and this is what's uh, kind of um, different about the definition with respect to the definition for the addition, which was very natural, is that if we do this, we see that we only end up having positive numbers because we were taking we were taking products of positive numbers but we know if we have a cut and there's a number inside a, a cut uh, then we need to include all the numbers that are smaller than that particular uh, number so we also need to include all the negative numbers right if not a times b defined in this way it would not be a cut is negative. This, in order to make it a cut, we need to include all the negative numbers. Um, and so, how do we define the the, the uh, we define the product for for more general uh, cuts? So we know. Uh, so how do we?
how do we find the product for uh, for other cuts? So the key observation here is that we know that if a is less than or equal to zero, then minus a is greater than or equal to zero. Do we know this? I mean, you should try to prove it. It's just chasing definitions. good thing about this is that we've defined already minus a. So starting from a that it can cut, we have already defined what minus a is. And we have shown that that is a cut. And once we are able to show that, that minus a satisfies this property, we can simply use the definition of minus a and the definition of the product of two positive that it can cuts to obtain all the other possibilities. So in general, the definition would be that a times b will be equal to of course a b if a is greater than or equal to zero and b is greater than or equal to zero. We want to take products of uh, non-negative that it can cut. So if say one of them is negative, say like b is non-positive, then we can only take, I mean according to our definition, we can only take the product between a and minus b. So if a is greater than or equal to zero and b is less than or equal to zero, then <coughs> We can uh, take the product of a because it's non-negative, and we can uh, with uh, minus b, which will be positive or non-negative. So we can take the product of these two positive uh, that it can cuts because we already defined that. But now we need to correct that because that will just give us. I mean, if you use the analogy with the real numbers, that would give us minus a b. So we correct that by, after computing this uh, or finding out what this static and cut is, which is already defined once we get it, then we proceed to get the minus of that, so the additive inverse of that. So here we have a product that is well defined according to our previous rule, so between a non-negative cut and another non-negative cut which is minus b and then after that we obtain a cut so that's part of one of your exercises and after that we take uh, the the additive inverse of that and that's the res resulting cut that we want similarly uh, we can take minus a times b and then find its additive inverse if a is non-positive and b is non-negative. So we do the same thing as before, so we can only take products of things that are uh, non-negative and then we correct by adding the sign outside which amounts to finding out the the, uh, the inverse for addition on the dedicated cut operation. And we already defined that and we had no problem doing that. So we can use things that have been previously defined. 
and so that gives it that and the final case when both cuts are non positive then you simply define a times b is minus a times minus b and this actually agrees with our understanding of how the product should work this is multiplied to negative numbers it should be the same as multiplying uh, minus the first one times minus the second one so this completes the, the definition of the OD operations and so we have to find the addition and product so there are some things we uh, we're missing at this point so the first one is what is the identity element for product can you guess what it should be I mean let's look at the definition of the product and suppose I mean you remember that everything can be reduced to the case when you have a positive that it can cut so how can we end up with just let's say wait if you multiply a times B you're multiplying a numbers a and a times uh, numbers b and b with a and b um, non-negative if you wanted to obtain just the a's and a's you would want to multiply that uh, a by one of course um, if you just consider the cut uh, if you consider the set where of all the numbers that are less than or equal to one that will not be a cut but uh, if you want to obtain all the numbers below all the numbers in A, then that would be fine if you remove away the number one, right? And you will obtain the same set of numbers that you have already in A. Remember, so you just need to recover all smaller elements uh, of all elements in A. And that's done if you take or just remove uh, one from your uh, candidate and consider all smaller numbers okay and so that's uh so we can write it down and prove that it's actually uh, a a uh, uh, an inverse for the multiplication so that's one thing and you also need to define an inverse when the when the cut is not the zero cut for a not equal to zero okay so once we know these things we can uh, uh, well, we can move on to the next thing which is to prove that with these definitions the the product distributes with respect to addition and that will conclude the relations that we have uh, the, the relations we wanted to extend between the product and addition already in place for the rational numbers so now uh, the point will become to study the remaining properties and the most important one as I said the topological one is the existence of a supreme or at least upper bound